In this video, shared by Dr. Daniel Lozada from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we will discuss the bimanual delamination surgical technique for fibrovascular membranes. This is the case of a patient who presented with dense vitreous hemorrhage due to proliferative diabetic retinopathy, for which surgical treatment with PARS plan of vitrectomy was indicated. After performing peripheral vitreous isolation, the surgeon uses the illumination probe itself to perform scleral indentation, facilitating visualization of the retina during vitreous base shaving. Next, the posterior pole tractions are addressed. Using the vitrectomy probe, the tractions are segmented and isolated. We can observe dehemoglobinized blood in the subhyoid space, suggesting the chronicity of the condition, which is aspirated after segmentation. At this point, delamination begins. This is a very delicate step of the surgery, in which the fibrovascular membranes must be carefully removed to avoid hemorrhages and iatrogenic retinal tears. The surgeon opts for a bimanual delamination technique using forceps and the vitrectomy probe itself. Once the appropriate dissection plane is identified, the blunt tip of the vitrector is used to perform the delamination. The main advantage of this technique is the lower risk of inadvertent vascular injury when compared to the use of scissors. However, it is essential to maintain a proper dissection plane and to carefully traction the fibrovascular tissue tangentially to the retina, in order to avoid iatrogenic tears. At this stage, the internal limiting membrane peeling is performed. A fluid air exchange is carried out, and panretinal photocoagulation is completed using endolaser. An excellent anatomical and functional postoperative outcome can be observed in the late follow-up.